Wakefield. Hello everyone and welcome to Washington Lee High School where the Wakefield Warriors are here to swim against the Generals. I'm Michael Shea along with Barbara Cannonin. Barbara, as a swim parent in your past, now you know meets in Arlington have a lot of energy and when it's two Arlington High Schools, there's even more excitement. Michael, this is a tremendously exciting night. You can feel the energy in this room. These are kids who have been swimming together, some of them since they were eight years old on their local swim teams. They're now at rival high schools competing against each other. They will return to being friends when this is over, but they want to win tonight, each oh, of them. Oh, they, they definitely do. Now, they also have uh, challenging coursework here, and some of them compete in more than one sport. It's pretty admirable what they're able to pull off in terms of time management. The kids in Arlington are amazing, Michael. We have great public schools in general. These are two of the best public high schools in the country. These kids work hard at their academics. They're working very hard at their swimming. And you're right, many of them have other activities they do as well. All right, well, it's time. Warriors against generals. Game on. And after the evening started with senior night festivities, where the Washington Lee General swimmers and divers were affectionately saluted for their dedication and hard work to the program over the years. It was time for swimming. The first event of the evening, the boys 200 yard medley relay. Washington Lee boys coming into tonight, their only loss among dual meets so far this season. Uh, was to Yorktown. The Wakefield Warriors boys swim team coming in tonight, hoping to rebound. A week ago, they lost narrowly to Ma the Mountain Vernon Majors. And as we finish the first lap, uh, the field remains relatively tight. Washington Lee swimming in lanes three and five have taken a small lead. And those two relay teams right now are contesting for first place. You can hear the excitement, uh, the energy that's in the room. The third leg of the race, Andrew Fleckenstein. Swimming in lane three has a very small lead over Eric Weiner, swimming in lane five. Fleckenstein now winding the gap to get ready for the anchor leg. to Jaya Kamatapati swimming in lane five to try to catch Brian Mead swimming in lane three. And Mead holds the lead and takes it. So Washington Lee taking the first and second spots in this opening race of the evening. For the second race, this will be the girls' 200 yard freestyle relay. I'm sorry, medley relay. And as for the boys, the Washington girls come into tonight. They're only lost on the season in dual meets at the hands of Yorktown, while Wakefield looking to rebound from last week's loss to Mount Vernon. Early lead in the medley relay is in lane five. Isabel Lee keeping her relay team an early lead for Washington Lee. Catherine Manuel is taking over from Brian Edwards as the 
The lead in lane five for the Washington Lee relay team. has been uh, expanded and they're holding the lead. And Evie Geisman now in for the Generals, swimming anchor in that lane five team. And Geisman is on the home stretch. Comfortable lead. She's about six or sec sec seven seconds ahead of the nearest competitor. And so Washington Lee will claim the first three spots in the race. Three relay teams from Washington Lee. Comfortable win for the relay team anchored by Evie Geisman. Now it's time for the boys to enjoy freestyle. And on the first length, the field is fairly tight. And at the turn. by a strong shown by Wakefield in this race. But more went than halfway through Reeves continues to maintain his lead. stretch. And Reeves has won. The boys 20 yard freestyle race goes to Nick Reeves from Washington Lee. All right now the girls 20 yard freestyle race. Way swimming in lane five has an early lead. Sarah Randolph, though, will push her from lane uh, three. But so far, it's been Ridgeway. Third length, Ridgeway still in the lead. Still being pursued by Randolph. All right, the halfway mark. Ridgeway extending her lead over Randolph now. to the field is swimming hard but they can't keep up with Ridgeway.
And now for the final lap. Way now in the final length, he's on the home stretch. Very comfortable lead right now. And the girls, 200 yard freestyle. We'll go to Ellie Ridgeway from Washington Lee. Sierra Randolph, also from Washington Lee, really will finish second. It's hard to do perfectly, but it's, it's easy to do pretty good. And it's time for the boys. Here we are individual medley. A little test of uh, swimmers overall, all, all overall and all around. Uh, swimming ability. Brian Mead swimming in lane five. Off to a very good start. And Me is now in the backstroke leg of the individual medley. And he has a comfortable lead over Michael Swisher. Swisher swimming in lane three. And a good backstroke leg by Brian Mead. And now Mead more than halfway through continues to hold the lead over Swisher. That is Mead in lane five. His closest pursuer is still Michael Swisher swimming in lane three. And Meade has one lap to go. And Meade is on the home stretch. About a seven or eight second advantage over Michael Swisher. And so first place in the boys 200 yard individual medley will go to Brian Mead from Washington Lee. Swisher finishes second by a comfortable margin. All right, the girls 200 yard individual medley now. And in the first length of the individual medley, the field is very tight. As they make the first turn, none of the swimmers have a clear advantage. Carrie Mead and Abigail, Ga Abigail Galen will be contesting for the lead at this point. We're done with the first leg of the individual medley. Carrie Mead swimming in lane five. Abigail Galen swimming in lane three. Meet with a slight edge here in the backstroke uh, leg of the relay. Good turn by Meade. She maintains her very small lead over Gallon. And coming up strong, though. The second lane of the Washington Lee swimmer. So Carrie Mead has a lead more than halfway through the girls' individual medley, but it is not a very large lead. She continues to be pushed by Abigail Gallon swimming in lane three.
And so Meade holding the lead. Challenged by Gallen as we get to the last leg of the individual medley. away in the last leg. Carrie Mead finishes strong. Wins the girls individual medley. Now the boys 50 yard freestyle. The shortest distance at the swim meet. A true sprint. A big factor in this race is getting off that board quickly. He remains tight. Noah Swisher edging out Eric Weiner to take first place in the boys 50 yard freestyle. Now it's the girls 50 yard freestyle. Again a tight field, it's a short race. Turn, Bryn Edwards has the lead. Bryn Edwards swimming in lane five. And Edwards will take the 50 yard freestyle on the girl side. Georgia Allen from Wakefield will finish second. And now around to the boys, one yard butterfly. Teammates cheering on. Only one Wakefield swimmer is entered in this event. Connor Sugru. Swimming very strongly for Wakefield. As we approach the home stretch, Connor Sugru has a lead. Paul Anderson is closest pursuit for Washington Lee. And Sugru in the home stretch now. Connor Sugru takes the 100 yard butterfly for Wakefield. So if you want to know how many Washington Lee swimmers it take to beat Connor Sugru at the butterfly, four is not enough. Sugru takes it. All right, the girls side now, there you see your lane assignments. It's the girls' 100 yard butterfly a little bit later in the race. Evie Geisman swimming very well in the 100 yard butterfly. And Geisman has a strong lead. As we are approaching the home stretch. Evie Geisman for Washington Lee. Geisman holding the lead. So Evie Geisman with a commanding victory. And Montgomery finishes second for Washington Lee. Now it's time for the boys, one yard freestyle. Jaya Kanapati from Russian Lee has a lead at the halfway mark. Kanapati is extending his lead. He's pulling away from Eric Wine. He's swimming in second place right now. Kamapati. 
with the first place in the boys' 100 yard freestyle. All right, the girls 100 yard freestyle now. Katie Moore has a lead at the halfway mark, but she's being very closely pursued by Anna Polizzi, swimming in lane three, running in second place right now. And we're to the home stretch. And Katie Moore trying to hold her lead. Here's a charge from Anna Polizzi. Polisi coming on strong. But Katie Moore holds on to take first place. Anna Polisi finishing second. All right, the boys 500 yard freestyle. It's both a test of a swimmer's stamina and a swimmer's strategy. More than most other events, given the length of the 500 yard freestyle. You typically need to have a really good sense of your own pacing and what you're capable of doing and how fast you want to be going when. tends to quiet down a little bit during the problem yard um, freestyle for other boys or girls. Not really reflecting um, the lack of interest. It's really just a question of the crowd's own stamina. Uh, the parents and the friends and up in the bleachers uh, have been cheering wildly uh, most of the evening. Um, and there was some, some cheers during the problem yard freestyle, but Some of these fans may just be taking a breather. So far tonight, Washington Lee on the boys' side has taken the lead over Wakefield. We also have the diving competition before the swim races got started. So on points right now, the Washington Lee boys have an advantage over Wakefield. Uh, we've had some good performances from Wakefield, but overall, Washington Lee has been in front. As we're moving through the boys 500 yard, you can see that Matea Monovic, Andrew Fleckenstein, and Andrew Nix are really the three contenders right now. Nix opening up a lead over Fleckenstein, his teammate from Washington Lee, and over Milanovic from Wakefield. Both these teams, this is their last dual meet of the regular season. Uh, they'll both be looking forward to the conference tournament in about a week's time. Um, Washington Lee in conference uh, six, Wakefield conference 13. And so when they swim in the conference tournament, they'll be going up against uh, familiar rivals like Thomas Jefferson in the case of Wakefield. And Washington Lee will be having to go up against familiar rivals such as Yorktown and McLean. So even though these two schools are in different conferences, uh, they both swim in a very competitive conference. Uh, the whole Northern Virginia area, very strong in swimming and diving, so the teams will know they'll be pushed. They try to set personal best and win for their team during the conference tournament. Another factor that uh, comes into play when you're one of the swimmers for your team in a 500 yard freestyle in the evening is you're probably swimming some other events and you'll have to really reach deep 
and come up with more energy as you also swim in your shorter events, particularly some of the relays. All right, the 500 yard freestyle is moving along. Andre Nix continues to have a comfortable lead for the Washington Generals. Matea Milanovic continues to press him. Milanovic swimming in lane six. Andrew Nix swimming in lane three. And Milanovic now at that last turn pulled even and is now ahead of Nix. So after a few laps, Milanovic was in third place. He has now pushed himself up into first place in the 500 yard freestyle. Still lots of the race to go. But Matea Milanovic extending his lead over Andrew Nix. So Washington swimmers are running in second and third place right now, but it's a Wakefield swimmer, Matea Milanovic. Who has a lead as we get into the final stages of this 500 yard freestyle? And Matea Medlanovic has won it for Wakefield. The 500 yard freestyle boys' race goes to Wakefield. All right, time for the girls' 500 yard freestyle. And in the early going, Catherine Emanuel swimming in lane five. Taking a lead. There's Emmanuel. Very early in the race. And as we just saw in the boys' race, that early lead might be difficult to hold. It is a long race, but Emmanuel so far looking good. This is definitely an event where you spend most of the race at cruising speed, not at your sprint speed. And at this point, Emmanuel is ahead comfortably. Thinking back to the beginning of the evening with the senior night festivities, you could sense the real um, camaraderie that these, this team has for each other. And some of these uh, student athletes will be going on to swim and compete uh, in college, uh, but they've had a great experience here as a team. Christina Dorvo, uh, the head coach of Washington Swimming. Does a great job putting the team together and pushing these student athletes to become uh, better swimmers, better swimmers and divers. Well, at this point, Catherine Emanuel, it is her race to lose. She has built up a strong lead.
Bryn Edwards swimming in lane three. At this point, anyway, it's a very distant second place. Uh, two Washington swimmers running first and second place. Um, Catherine Emanuel has the race um, well in hand. yard freestyle for both the boys and girls comes uh, more than halfway through the way through the events of the evening uh, but uh, it's certainly the longest event the final event of the evening which will come later the 4x400 relay um, starts to be of comparable uh, Length, but uh, because it's a relay, uh, tends to be swum much much more quickly. Obviously, all right, no one really to push her. Uh, Catherine Emanuel on cruise control. Like all the swimmers tonight, uh, seeing this as a tune-up for the conference tournament in a week's time. She's no doubt pushing herself hard. Everyone wants to put a personal record or a personal best up on the board. <laughs> and Emmanuel now in the final lap. The 500 yard freestyle for the girls. And Emmanuel makes the turn and she's in the home stretch. She took an early lead. She extended that lead. And was never seriously challenged. So the 500 yard freestyle on the girls' side will go to Catherine Emmanuel from Washington Lee. And now the boys to the yard freestyle relay. Washington swimmers in lanes three and five are so far contesting for the lead. leg of the race. I need some very strongly and he's in the home stretch. He's trying to hold off a challenge from the anchor for the other his rival team. From also from Washington Lee, Jaya Kamakatati. So Washington Lee will take the first two spots in the boys 200 yard freestyle relay. All right, now it's the girls 200 yard freestyle relay. And the field is very tight. And stay near the end of the first length. Tyler LaPointe for Wakefield, Anna Polisi for Washington Lee, and Donia Nichols from Washington Lee. All contesting for the lead.
And now Katie Moore has given her relay team a lead for Washington Lee. Halfway through the second leg of the 200 yard freestyle relay. Halfway through, and Bryn Edwards is extending the lead for her team. Swimming in lane five. And we are in the final leg of the 20 yard freestyle relay for the girls. Izzy Mowry, swimming anchor. She was given a comfortable lead and she's been holding that lead. And now Mowry in the home stretch. And Izzy Mowry takes first place in the girls 200 yard freestyle relay for her team from Washington Lee. All right, on to the 100 yard backstroke for the boys. The first turn, the field is fairly tight. And Nick Reeves swimming for Washington Lee. Five has opened up a very extensive lead. Reeves on the home stretch. And Reeves will win very comfortably. Nick Reeves with a very large margin of victory for Washington Lee, taking first place in the boys' 100 yard backstroke. All right, the girls' 100 yard backstroke. The girls' 100 yard backstroke now. Geisman and Izzy Mowry contesting for first place. They are essentially tied halfway through. Teammates from Washington Lee. Mowry and Geisman. And as we near the final turn, Virtually tied, so this is gonna come down to a very close finish. Evie Geisman swimming in lane five. Izzy Mauer swimming in lane three. They are in the home stretch. Geisman edges out Mowry, terrific race. And the two swimmers from Washington League get first and second place. All right, now the boys' 100-yard breaststroke. Brooke Yeamer from Wakefield. Swimming in lane six. Right now, swimming a very close second place. He is pushing Noah Kennedy from Washington Lee, who's swimming in lane five. Yeamer and Kennedy, virtually tied. And Brooke Yeamer from Wakefield now. At the turn, he opened a very small Lead over Noah Kennedy, but Noah Kennedy continuing to press. Reamer and Kennedy. 
Going in, and Reamer. Reamer wins it for Wakefield over Noah Kennedy. All right, the girls won the yard best stroke. You see your line, lane assignments right there. A full field service. Katie Moore and Natalie Sokolota. Swimming very strong, there we go. Close to the final turn. Dylan Nichols in third place, still looking to challenge. Katie Moore has a lead. Natalie Scalota. And Donya Nichols running third now. Nichols challenging for second place, and Katie Moore will take the race. And Scalota hangs on to take second place. So the one yard breaststroke goes to Katie Moore from Washington Lee. General Summers takes second and third. All right, the final boys event of the evening, the boys 400 yard freestyle relay. Swimmer will do 100 yards. And Brian Mead, swimming in lane three, has a big lead for his team very early on. Fleckenstein for the Washington Generals. So in lane three. And he gave Fleckenstein a good, strong lead. Fleckenstein so far is holding the lead. The Washington team in lane five is the closest pursuer right now, but you see Fleckenstein as he makes his final turn. a big lead and so we're near the halfway point of the 4 by 400 relay and the Washington Lee team swimming in lane 3 comfortably ahead Still making a lot of noise. They've stuck through a very long evening of diving and swimming. And the swimmers on the deck seem to have about as much energy as they did when they came in tonight. All right, Mateus Moreno, the third leg of the relay team. Given a big lead. It looks like he might have extended it a little bit. As he goes into his home stretch. And finishes the third leg of the relay. And Jaya Kamapapati, who has been having a very strong evening, uh, will try to finish it off for the Washington Lee boys in the 4 by 400 freestyle relay. Kamapapati is now in his last lap. Jai Kampapatadi. 
in the home stretch. Looking to close out a win. Brian Mead gave him an early lead, and the team did not waste it. And so they take first place. Washington also takes second and third place in the boys' 4x400 yard relay. Now it's time for the girls' 4x400 yard relay. At the first turn, relatively tight. It's a relatively long race. The lead string only does 100 yards, so you're pretty much pushing as hard as you can the whole time. First swimmer in lane three for Washington Lee has given the team a lead. Their teammates in lane five are probably the close competitors. Emmanuel hands off to Isabel Lee. And now Lee has to try to hold the lead. Against some very uh, good swimmers in the other lanes. Girls 4x400 uh, relay. Uh, Ellie Ridgeway now. Swimming the third leg of the relay. Moving on to a large lead. Ridgeway makes her first turn. Ridgeway now halfway through her leg of the relay. Continues to be well ahead of the closest rivals who are in lane five, also swimming for Washington Lane. Which way is into the final turn. And she's on her home stretch. And Ridgeway turns it over to Evie Geisman who and the other races tonight has had a very good evening. And she will try to close out a first place finish for Washington Lee. And we'll see you guys on our first turn. And now Evie Geisman into the final lap. Swimming well ahead of her closest rival. And Evie Geisman now in the home stretch. And Geisman finishes it out. And for the team scores, the boys and girls both comfortably ahead in Washington, but great performances by swimmers on both teams. Thank you for watching.